What is your motivation for exhibiting at TR Marketplace? And what do you hope to achieve during the event? Well, we are already in over 50 countries, you know, and, and uh, you know, more than uh, in, in airports as well. And with the key tax-free exhibitions in Singapore and Cannes having been cancelled, I mean, the TR Marketplace, uh, you know, is the first event in the calendar, and it gives us an important opportunity to both uh, meet with our existing customers, to also see new, uh, new people, new faces, and also to look at, you know, what are the challenges that are facing uh, our partners in their business, and how can we support them? But I think more importantly, it's about, you know, we want to demonstrate to the, the uh, our commitment to the channel, which you know we, we uh, that's very much the case, and also a positive message to our friends in the global travel retail community that we will bounce back. How have you been trying to position your company for the recovery from COVID-19 within duty-free and travel retail? So yeah, at Puke Invest, uh, you know, we are realistic about the challenges facing the channel given the dramatic decline in tax numbers. And we recognize it's going to take some time for the business to return to some kind of normality. But as a family business, uh, you know, PNB is over 115 years old and we faced a number of uh, challenges in the past. Uh, you know, examples being the Spanish flu, uh, sort of the world wars, financial crisis, economic meltdowns. And we are, you know, we are optimistic that we will come through this uh, positively on the other side as well. But we take a long-term view, and the duty-free and travel retail channel is an important part of our strategy going forward. We have some exciting new, uh, you know, additions coming to the portfolio with new wines, but also innovative launches. Uh, so watch this space in the very near future. What features of the TR Marketplace digital platform attracted you most? The, the, you know, this is, uh, I mean, the virtual exhibitions uh, now seem to be, well, it's a first for us in the industry. And the fact that it's free for visitors. So, you know, I would urge uh, buyers and, uh, you know, uh, people from the channel to, to sign up because they, there's no cost to it. It's easy to navigate the platform and also to arrange meetings with uh, customers, uh, both old and new. And then again, you've got you know the webinars that people can uh, sort of dial into with uh, Mindset, IWSR and IIR. So I think all in all, very exciting. In which channels do you wish to develop your business and why? Has this changed as a result of COVID-19? So it is, it is within GTR. I mean, we will continue to develop uh, our presence in airports, uh, you know, to expand that. But while it's also list, looking at listings on cruise lines and uh, in uh, airlines, once they once they are back, which uh, I am positive that they will be in due course, and also the border stores. How do you believe consumer buying habits and priorities will have changed during this period? How must the industry make changes? I wish I had a crystal ball for this one, but you know it's early days in the battle against COVID, and uh, you know we're we're all waiting for a vaccine that might give more confidence to. Uh, the traveling public and to the to the consumer, but going forward, I believe consumers will still spend. Uh, and I and I, I traveled recently, and I've seen that for myself. But I think they're going to look more for value uh, propositions without compromising on on the quality. And uh, e-commerce and digital will play a, a very important role. Uh, you know, even I mean, the, it, probably looking at even before the consumer starts their their journey and before they get to the airport. So I think it's a it's a timely opportunity for the quaternity, as we call it, the airports, airlines, retailers and brands to maybe sort of cooperate more on improving the data sharing uh, and you know, deliver more value for our industry.